Also trending today is a story we touched on yesterday. Google has temporarily blocked some Canadian users, about 4%, from viewing news content on its platform. The company says it's a test run for the Liberal government's proposed Online News Act, Bill C-18. Manisa Danabalan joins us live to talk more about the bill and how Google's actions will impact us. Kelly, Bill C-18 was first tabled in June and passed in the House of Commons in December. If it becomes law, it would force digital giants such as Google and Meta to negotiate deals that would compensate Canadian media companies for republishing their con content on their platforms. Google is calling it a test run, assessing a potential response to the Liberal government's online news bill. The change would apply to Google's search engine and the Discover feature on Android devices. They have a lot of power and a lot of our Canadian citizens use Google um, and are dependent upon it. So if the access to uh, news links goes away, people are going to pay attention and Google is going to try and figure out a way to either um, limit the effect of C18 or see if they can stop it. Because it doesn't impact everyone, here's how you can find out if you're part of that 4%. Search something Canadian on Google in the News tab. If you don't see any Canadian media outlets and only see sources from outside the country, then you're affected. But just for now. But how does Bill C18 help Canadians? In this past uh, decade, um, two monopolistic companies, Facebook and Google, have taken about 80% of the revenue away from journalists um, and media. Um, that's creating news deserts across the country. It's limiting the size of newsrooms. Um, journalists are fundamental to our democracy, social media companies less so. And so C18, its goal is to balance that playing field. Some experts feel the bill would do more damage to journalists by potentially limiting viewership. is isn't actually going to change things um, that dramatically for the, the income coming in. Uh, to um, smaller organizations, but it is going to make it more difficult for citizens to access news um, and to, to learn about it and to make those connections. Um, particularly if this bill is passed. In a statement, a spokesperson for Google says we've been fully transparent about our concern that C-18 is overly broad and if unchanged, could impact products Canadians use and rely on every day. We remain committed to supporting a sustainable future for news in Canada and offering solutions that would fix Bill C-18. According to reports, Google said it would rather pay into a fund that would compensate news publishers indirectly than abide by the bill. But this this isn't the first time something like this has happened. In 2021, Facebook blocked news pages after the Australian government said it was going to introduce a law that requires the company to pay publishers for providing links to their stories. But that quickly ended when Facebook cut a deal with the government. Lisa Nathan from UBC says this bill has a great goal, but the details need work. I don't think that the, um, the smaller news organizations are going to benefit as much as the large ones from this legislation. In a statement, the Canadian Association of Journalists wrote information is meant to be free and accessible to all. Google has a duty to be a responsible gateway to quality journalism. That means giving full access to truthful and factual information. Google should adhere to its own corporate code of conduct and do the right thing. All types of news content expected to run for about five weeks. And Bill C-18 is supposed to be read, studied by the Senate in the coming months. But until then, we'll just have to wait and see what's next. Kelly?